the Alphard and Velfire have enjoyed an incredible rivalry over the years. But with the Alphard becoming increasingly confident, the difference between it and the Velfire has narrowed to such an extent that we did in fact consider discontinuing the Velfire this time. But there was an outpouring of support for the car when this was discussed internally. People in the development team, the management, dealers, and even some VIP advisors expressed disbelief that this could even be considered. How could we throw away an icon? Now if both are bespoke cars, then the Alphard, with its power and its confidence, is without doubt the epitome of bespoke formal. But the Velfire has a dark, aggressive character that can only be described as bespoke dynamism. The two vehicles can now continue their rivalry, but be happy in the knowledge that each has a clear character and position. Number two, it's a one box, but it's certainly not a box. Finally, it has the muscles to match its mass. No more flat two-dimensional surfaces. Engineering breakthroughs have given the designers free reign to create surface volumes that enhance the stance or the dynamism and the emotion of the car. Number three, one touch changes the world. In our quest for the ultimate in hospitality, even the movement of the door has been choreographed to reduce stress as you enter another world, a world where you are at center stage where the seat position, the lighting, climate control are all seamlessly coordinated together. With the touch of a single button, you can access preset environments to suit your mood. Number four, the ultimate cockpit. Now, as I said earlier, the driver is not forgotten. Both vehicles will be fitted with 14-inch displays, 12.3-inch meters, heads-up displays, but this technology embedded into the crafted soft interior makes it all the more impressive. And finally, number five. It's engineered for people and the Earth. The new Alphard is designed for the ultimate user experience, but it's not just about the surface attributes. Ride quality, noise and vibration are one third of the current vehicle, a figure that is comparable to a luxury sedan. And the new edition will also have a plug-in hybrid model playing a part in the road towards carbon neutrality. Now I hope this gives you a feeling for the values that the Ardafard and Belfire are offering, but also how they relate to the future. Because in many ways, these values represent the heart of everything that we are trying to achieve as a brand. The future customer will increasingly demand choices to match their lifestyle values. The integration of services and information into their mobility life and then many other things. Essentially, we as a company are striving to create freedom in motion. The two cars today offer the freedom to choose your character the freedom to use it in your own way, the freedom to escape to another world. And in the case of the chauffeur world, the freedom to do things differently on your own terms. The Alphard and Velfire are the next steps in this challenge, but it will certainly not finish with them. The recently announced Crown Sedan offers the freedom to choose a carbon neutral chauffeur car experience with the fuel cell version. The sleek, elegant strength of the vehicle contrasts and complements the power and space of the Alfa and Belfire, giving customers more freedom to choose the chauffeur experience that they value. And again, it will not finish here. The Century is the ultimate chauffeur experience, but it too will have to evolve as we move toward the future. And later in the year, I hope to have a chance to share the outcome of that story with a new addition to Toyota's chauffeur series. 
it will certainly be an impressive step in our mission to change the future of cars. Kuruma no mirai, kaite ko. Everybody, arigato gozaimashita. Hello. As Dimitris mentioned earlier, the new LM is the ultimate omote nashi on wheels. I don't need to tell you that it has a commanding presence. The design expresses luxury, refinement and strength. LM was designed from the start as the utmost VIP transporter, a new genre of limousine that was designed inside out. With a length of 5.1 meters, a width of 1.9 meters and a height of almost 2 meters, its proportions have allowed us to create the most comfortable rear space possible. And this becomes clear as soon as the door slides open to reveal an environment that can be best compared to a luxury suite or a private jet. Cozy like a living room when you want to relax, functional like an office when you need to work. There's no other vehicle out there that can match this. And equally unmatched is the finish. The highest level of our Takumi craftsmanship has created a luxurious yet discreet ambience and the fit and finish when you're sitting match our in high the back standards, of the LM, it's easy to forget of the LM, LM as a flagship for our brand. Ride comfort was an absolute priority during the development, especially for the rear passengers. It's delivered thanks to several factors. The key ones are the high rigidity of the body, the seat structure and the motion capture technology, which all work hand in hand to reduce the fine vibrations passengers might feel and the bigger inputs that tend to cause unwanted head movements. The seats secure a stable body posture and minimize the fluctuations in visibility that can cause discomfort and motion sickness. This was important to allow the passengers to read and write comfortably in all situations. The LM is available with two different seat layouts, a seven and a four seater. The seven seater has VIP seats on the middle row and flip-up seats on the third row, giving full flexibility to transport more luggage when needed. The large and comfortably fitting middle row seats have armrests equipped with touch panels, while a large overhead console groups air conditioning, illumination and speaker functions for optimal functionality and craftsmanship. The four-seater offers the full lounge experience. It comes with extremely comfortable seats with massage function, heating and ventilation, and the ability to recline to a full flat position, effectively creating a bed. Quietness has always been a key pillar of the Lexus experience, and in a car like LM, it was even more important. The engineers focused on the five human senses and aimed to create a natural and comfortable sound environment. Unpleasant wind and road noise is reduced while maintaining the frequencies that people perceive as natural, rather than creating the artificial quiet of recording studio, which often feels oppressive. This quiet cabin also allows you to enjoy the superior audio system. The LM is equipped as standard with a reference 3D surround system from Mark Levinson, with 21 speakers on the seven-seater and 23 on the four-seater. The speaker layout has been optimized to generate a precise stereophonic sound with excellent spread across the cabin, creating a soundscape comparable to a high-end home audio system. In the seven-seater, the rear seat entertainment system includes a 14-inch, but it is the four-seater that offers the supreme experience with its 48-inch wide display. This high-definition widescreen monitor can be personalized to suit different needs thanks to its three different operating modes. It can serve as a single widescreen with 32 on 9 format, it can work in cinema format, or it can be split into separate screens to provide individual content to both rear passengers, supported by two individual headphone outlets. The screen is perfectly positioned at an optimal angle for viewing and below the partition window, hence still allowing a view of the road ahead. This partition can be opened or closed and can be rendered opaque for more privacy at the touch of a button. But our Omotenashi goes even further than this. In the four-seater, we introduce an advanced version of our climate concierge, which now integrates management of the air conditioning, the rear cabin lighting, the window shades, and seat recline position. Five climate concierge modes are available, ready to provide different atmospheres and seating positions, including a custom mode that can be tailored to personal preferences. On top of this, the rear cabin is equipped with sensors to estimate the thermal sensitivity of the occupants and fine-tune the heating or cooling to the most appropriate level. 
To enhance the home-like feeling, the cabin ambience can be customized with a wide range of color settings, with 14 colors carefully curated to create different moods. Relaxing, focusing, or even accelerating, to mention but a few. The same care for materials and finish found in the rear is also present in the front cabin, with its modern, open-feel instrument panel design. The driver-focused cockpit is based on the Tazuna concept that was introduced on the new NX and then rolled out on the new RX and the RZ. Applying the same principles, the interior designers took a human-centered approach to developing the new LM. All instruments and key controls are easy to access and intuitive, allowing the driver to keep their hands on the wheel and their eyes on the road. For the driver, the superior experience doesn't stop at the luxurious cabin and the high level of equipment. The engineers took on the challenge of harmonizing two aspects that are usually opposite, driving pleasure and passengers' ride comfort. As Dimitris explained earlier, LM stands for luxury mover, for all the occupants of the car, driver and passengers. So the same driving taste as on other Lexus models allows a natural dialogue with the car. This was achieved thanks to several elements. The vehicle's platform, the LM, is built on our acclaimed GAK passenger car platform that also underpins the NX and the RX. Then the high rigidity of the body, which also contributes to good driving performance despite the large opening doors. And various technologies, which were also adopted to ensure good driving dynamics, yet maximize the right comfort and minimize the vibrations that occupants might feel. For example, the LM is equipped as standard with adaptive variable suspension using our new frequency sensitive valve control that helps filter out unwanted road input. And where braking is concerned, smart stop technology automatically controls braking to smooth the change in posture that usually occurs as the car comes to a standstill. Several drive modes, including a Lexus first rear comfort option, allow the suspension, drive force distribution and vibration suppression to be adjusted. So as you can see, the engineering team took all the possible measures to keep the passengers as comfortable as possible. In terms of powertrain, the LM will be equipped in Europe with a 2.5 litre self-charging hybrid system, offering outstandingly smooth driving and ride comfort, with an excellent balance between quietness and efficiency. And here again, extra consideration has been given to the rear passengers, with an increase in the rear drive distribution via the E4 system. This ensures a stable turning posture for more seat, comfort and a secure feel. Last but not least, in terms of safety, the LM naturally comes as standard with the latest generation of the Lexus Safety System Plus, our suite of active safety and driver assist technologies. The LM isn't a car that is easy to classify because it creates a segment of its own. It only has one vocation, to deliver the ultimate in comfort and omotenashi to its VIP passengers and executives. And to do so, it draws on more than 30 years of Lexus experience, building on the extensive craftsmanship skills of our Takumi masters to give the best in-cabin experience and exploiting all the know-how of our engineers to deliver unrivaled ride quality and quietness. It's a truly unique vehicle and we are delighted to bring it to the European market.